Well, hello everybody. Today we'll be talking about the week, the weekly horoscopes from Monday the 5th of, uh, of February till Sunday the 11th of February. This is not a very, very special week because there is no planetary, any planetary event at all. Sometimes this is good, sometimes this is not good. In this case, it's good. It's good enough. Because first, we don't have a supermoon, we don't have an eclipse, we don't have a solar eclipse, neither a lunar eclipse, which is perfect. Anyway, the um, solar eclipse will be next week on the 15th of February. So, so far, we'll be fine during this week. Um, during this week, of course, we know that the sun is in Aquarius all, all week long. We have Venus in Aquarius actually till Saturday, and then it will move to Pisces on Sunday, Sunday the 11th. Uh, Mars will be all week, uh, all week long, will be in, um, in, uh, in Sagittarius. As for the moon, the moon on Monday will be in Libra, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it will be in Scorpio, and it will square the, the sun in Aquarius, which means there will be some tension um, to which signs it will be to, it will affect, not negatively, it might affect a little bit, um, Taurus and Leos. Friday and Saturday, the moon will be in Sagittarius, and Sunday, the moon will be in Capricorn. So this is uh, a quick look at the planetary um, signs during this week. So how it will be to all signs, let's begin with Aries. Aries this week is um, it's going to be uh, actually a very nice week. I like this week for you. Why? Because I don't see any problems, any problematic uh, planetary problems at all. What I see is probably that on Monday, because the moon is in, in Libra, you may feel a little bit challenged. You may feel a little bit, a little bit like you may be tense a little bit, but you have to know that the whole atmosphere, the whole um, situation, the conditions are not bad, are not bad at all. You only need to work your things out quite nicely, quite diplomatically, flexibly, and then you will be fine. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, with the moon um, squaring the sun, from Scorpio, I think you'll be fine. What you'll, what you'll need to do is sort things out. Maybe you need to apologize. Maybe you need to step back a little bit. Maybe you feel a bit guilty because maybe you were a bit um, harsh on some people on uh, the two days before, like on Sunday uh, 4th and uh, Monday the 5th of uh, February. So you have some time between uh, Tuesday and uh, Thursday to uh, make ends meet. Maybe you'll need to apologize or maybe you'll need to follow up on some papers. So you need to be careful and you need to be precise and look after your own issues. Okay, so you have to be precise with that and you need to follow the, the rules, all of the rules. Um, on Thursday, actually, the 8th of February, the moon will move to, um, to Sagittarius, which is a very compatible, harmonious sign uh, at um, 2 p.m. universal time, which you, we used to call it Greenwich Mean Time. But now we call it universal time because Greenwich Mean Time changes during the summer and it, they, they add one hour, so it's a bit confusing. So everybody worldwide, we, uh, worldwide, we are using the term universal time, which is Greenwich Mean Time with a constant time. It never changes, no summer time. So on uh, Thursday, on the 8th of February, at 2 p.m. universal time, the moon, uh, 2 p.m., the moon will move to, uh, to Sagittarius. And this is when everything starts changing positively to your favor, Aries. Uh, and then you will spend a beautiful evening. And Friday and Saturday, you can enjoy the best of your times. It's, the, it's a blast. You'll have a blast. It's a beautiful time. It's very positive. It's very favorable. You can have anything you want. Make a wish and you'll get it. Whereas on, on Sunday, things get back to be serious again. And this is when you need to be really serious about your work, about all the chores you have, all the responsibilities you get, because you need to do perfect things. 
okay so all in all it's a good week you just need to be a little bit flexible on monday and on sunday uh, if i want to choose the luckiest signs luckiest people it would be uh, those born between the 29th and the uh, 31st of march let's move to taurus taurus this week is uh, it's a bit tricky. Why? Because between Tuesday and Thursday, uh, 2 p.m. Thursday, Universal Time, I think you'll be you'll feel the toll of this moon squaring the sun. Add to it that the sun is in Aquarius, which means that you are really um, you feel the stress of daily demands you think that you need to do well you think that people are pushing you to do better and this is true because it can be at school it can be the grades it can be your family it can be your father it can be the teacher whoever they are so you or the boss actually so this is true it's um it's a demanding week actually the whole month is almost all demanding so it's a demanding week and you need to stay on track on monday the 5th of uh, february because the moon is in uh, libra and is ruled also by venus like your sign you'll be fine except that there will be a lot of work so you have to follow a strict agenda a strict schedule and you need to be careful because you cannot postpone and i i i, I recommend not postponing till Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, because things will get a little bit tricky. So, uh, Monday, it's a bit uh, heavy, a heavy schedule, lots of chores, but I advise you astrologically to finish all the important chores. Follow a strict agenda, don't postpone, and don't waste your time. Uh, you need also to be careful with your health because maybe you will feel a little bit tired, a little bit exhausted, so you need to look after that also. Some of you may get a new job on Monday. Some of you may need to work on, on a second job, like a, a part-time job. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, actually, I think they are the worst days of the week, if not the whole month. It's, there's a lot of pressure on you. There's a lot of pressure. Um, the, the, everything seems to be more difficult. That's why you need to be careful. That's why you need to be calm. That's why you need to be centered and grounded so you can do things well without getting into in problems with everybody around you because you can be very moody. You can be so stubborn and you may retreat into this cocoon of yours and then you will not go out and you will not allow anybody to reach out to you and you don't want anybody to 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 talk with you so uh you can be a little bit uh, touchy so you need to do things right from the very first second of monday on or, or tuesday so you don't have to worry about the uh, the three days uh, yeah so and also you need to be careful with your relations because you may have a fight with somebody and then you regret it uh, things get better after 2 p.m universal time on thursday also friday and saturday but then you will need to uh, see how to make things work out again maybe you have to talk with your friends with your people you maybe you you treated not nicely and then you have to ask for favors and follow up on 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 issues sunday actually is the best day of the of the week and this is when you need to relax and this is maybe maybe you it will be smart enough to work on important things and difficult things because it's a lucky day so i suggest that you should get busy on uh, on sunday and do whatever you need to do maybe you need to uh, to do some important uh, work, school work, or even um, some uh, work, your, your work, your career. Maybe you need to do something like making important phone calls or trying to, to meet up with some people or talk on the phone because it's the luckiest day of the week. Well, sorry about that, but this is how it is with the, uh, with the horoscopes. The luckiest will be those born on the 25th or the 26th of April. Let's move on to Gemini. 
Gemini, because the sun is in Aquarius, I think it's a, it's a good period of time. It's a good phase. You're passing through a good phase. Uh, but you have to know that every week, every sign passes through two good days and two not very good days. This week, it will be on Friday and Saturday. So let's hear it out. On Monday, I think it's one of the best days of the week. Monday, the 5th of February. It's the best day of the week, of this week, okay? Why? Because the sun and the moon are in trine, and you are also in trine with these two signs, Libra and Aquarius, and this is what makes everything so harmonious and so easy for you. So everything comes out easy, nobody notices your mistakes, everything passes just like that, and even everything you wish for will come true. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, this is the time when you will find yourself busy. Busy, busy, busy doing things with many chores, multitasking, and you're running about, and you're dashing about, and you have to look after your family, you have to do some house chores, you have to do work, go to the office, you need to get the children back from school, take them to school, and also may feel a bit tired. Actually, this is... Um, this is a favorable time and i advise you as an astrologer to do the best that you can to follow a very good good uh, wise schedule because because you can get the best of everything you have to know that on on thursday um after 2 p.m things start to get a bit complicated you will feel a little bit edgy uh, your mood will change you will see people differently and you'll think they're challenging you and you'll think that they don't understand you and this is when you may really uh, get out of the track so this is when you need to be careful Thursday afternoon 2 p.m universal time um, Friday and Saturday these are but but don't get me wrong it isn't that you don't have energy actually you're too energetic too energetic and that's why you need to focus your attention on something that you want to do otherwise you'll 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 miss the point you'll miss the point sunday it's a busy day uh, sunday is a day to uh, to find your way out uh, you need to analyze what happened during uh, the weekend or during uh, Friday and Saturday. And this is when you need to uh, start preparing for the following week. This is when you need to prepare some papers. This is when you need to uh, move on with the week. It's not a very calm Sunday, but otherwise I can say that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's fair enough. You can do well actually on Sunday, so go ahead and see your family, see your friends, uh, have some fun. The luckiest are those born between the 13th and the 20th of June. Okay, let's move to Cancer. Okay, Cancer this week. Um, like all signs, every week has two good days and two not very good days. In your case, you have three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 p.m. universal time. Uh, because the sun is in Aquarius, uh, the sun in Aquarius means that the uh, general theme or the highlight of the week is, in your case, is about um, legal issues, uh, paper issues, uh, it's about policies, whether they are health policies or insurance policies, or maybe it's about banking issues, money, monetary, or even health things. So whatever it is, you're dealing with papers, you're dealing with details, with, you're dealing with numbers. Even if you are a student, it seems that this week, actually till the 18th of February. It seems that you're dealing with numbers, so you have to be careful with that. And also with some health issues for those of you who feel a little bit tired. On Monday, the, um, on Monday, um, the 5th of February, the moon is in Libra, and this is why uh, Cancerians may feel a little bit uh, cautious 
uh, about their uh, personal issues. This is when they feel so sensitive. This is when they feel that their personal life is very personal. And this is when they feel like closed up. They don't want anybody to move in, to get any information about themselves. This is when you may feel that uh, your house, your home, your, 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 your family members, everybody is so is so so personal uh, this is why you may be a little bit moody this is why you may be a little bit uh, quiet you don't want to share things out so watch out uh, for your mood it doesn't get in the way in the wrong way tuesday wednesday and thursday till 2 p.m universal time this is the best time for uh, uh, cancerians this is when you will feel perfectly in harmony uh, with your uh, with, with yourself uh, you will feel perfect, you will love yourself, you will love everything going on around you. This is when you feel um, uh, lucky and when everything seems to work with you to your favor. Actually, this, this uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are the best days of the week and this is when you should work hard on everything complicated and difficult. Don't waste the precious time. Uh, Friday and Saturday, things get busy again, and this is when you need to follow uh, follow the rules. This is when you need to um, uh, keep it uh, keep an eye on the clock uh, because time is passes so fast, and you need to keep a track. Actually, some health issues may uh, surface, or maybe a, a, a more work and responsibilities will show up. Sunday is the, um, it's the exhausting day of the week. This is when you'll feel exhausted. This is when you will feel like you're dashing around. This is when you feel a little bit tired or this is when you feel a little bit um, uh, challenged. So you need to uh, keep with your wits about you. The luckiest are those born between the 13th and the 15th of uh, July. Let's move to uh, Leo. Uh, Leo, you know by now that with the sun in Aquarius, this means that this is the challenging time of the, of the year, okay? It's always like that. Anytime the sun is opposing our own sign, like Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Capricorn, and so on, this is when we feel the, um, the stress of daily life. Uh, but like all signs, like each and every sign, you get two good days and you get two not so good days during the week. In this case, let's go on with, uh, let's start with uh, Leo. On Monday, uh, it's a good day to negotiate. It's a good day to talk. It's a good day to make things uh, clear. You need to be clear, otherwise you will be misunderstood. Maybe people think you're being bossy, people think you're too pushy, so you need to make things clear. You have to explain everything. You have to make sure that people or everything uh, got the idea correctly. Um, on Monday, you have a very fast reflex. You're so smart and so capable of getting all the answers, so don't worry about about uh, meetings or don't don't worry about going to exams go ahead go ahead you'll be fine um tuesday wednesday and thursday to 2 p.m universal time this is actually the worst time of the week worst time of the week because it is when you are the moodiest it is the time when you feel the the stress of the week and this is when you will feel like sick tired, sleepy, or cannot concentrate. So you have to watch out from making mistakes and fighting and uh, fighting with, with the people around you, especially your loved ones. Uh, Thursday afternoon after 2 p.m. universal time, Friday and Saturday, this is the best time for Leos. This is the time when you, uh, you will feel so relaxed. This is when you really can take a deep breath and this is when you can do your best and my advice to you do your best on Friday and Saturday uh, or on uh, uh, Thursday afternoon because you get the best of vibes and the luckiest of vibes on Sunday on Sunday uh, the 11th of February I think this is a it's um, it's a very busy 
day. Uh, although it's a Sunday, you'll have so much to do. It can be one single chore, one single task that will make you actually spend the whole day doing it. And you won't have time to relax. So what you need to do is figure out a way to enjoy the Sunday. The luckiest are those born between the 14th and 16th of August. Let's move to Virgo. For you, Virgo, I think this is a good week because the sun is in Aquarius, which is the, uh, which is the sign of, uh, of doing your own work. Uh, you're always busy, Virgo, so this is no good, no news, no new news for you. You're always busy. And this week, uh, you're going to win something. There is something for you. There's a good thing for you. It's like a good surprise. Anyway, on Monday, uh, on Monday with the uh, moon in Libra, it's when um, it's when Virgos they start thinking about uh, about their uh, their finances. This is when you may uh, you'll be surprised with a bill, and this is when you get some uh, some news uh, from your teacher uh, about the grades. Or you may need, or you may want to invest in something. You may want to pamper yourself. So on Monday, there are some expenses for Virgos, and it can be positive, like you want to pamper yourself, or you want to feel good about yourself, and this is when you want to reward yourself. It can be that the universe wants to reward you also in return. So it can be good on many cases. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 uh, PM universal time. This is the busiest uh, time of the week, and the the best thing is that you are so fast. You are so quick with answers, with everything. You are so dynamic. Actually, you may deplete your energy working out so many things all at the same time. What I need you to do is to focus. You need to concentrate on each item you have on your schedule. Focus on it, concentrate, do your best, and then move on. You'll be fast. Believe me, don't need to worry. You can do so many things. And your reflexes are so smart. You really, you will amaze everybody. Friday and Saturday, this is the time when you need to really take some time for yourself. This is the time when you need to sit and have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, do some detox. Think about yourself, think, think about your family, think about fruits, or just stay at home and do some laundry and do some cleaning up and just staying warm. On Sunday, uh, this is a good day. Sunday is a good day for you. You'll feel, you'll, you'll feel festive, you'll feel uh, happy, and you'll feel great. Um, you'll feel actually great and you'll feel in love with yourself and people will be in love with you this is a very positive time and it will go it will go on it will continue till monday the 12th so you have to know that monday the 12th uh, because it's monday first day of the week you will be also very lucky so count on it the luckiest are those born between the 28th and the 31st of august Let's move to Libra. Libra is, uh, you are one of the luckiest signs this week. Why? Because the moon starts with the, the, the week starts with the moon in your sign and, the, and your sign is in trine with the sun in Aquarius. This is really heaven. This is really heaven for you. You are so dynamic you are so in you are so on top of everything with the moon in your sign on monday uh, actually it was on uh, in your sign on um, on uh, sunday the 4th so you are already dynamic you are already in the in the move uh, so monday the 5th of february um, uh, libras you have a green light okay just like uh, just like Sunday the 4th, there's a green light. You have to do something. You have to do something about your life. You have to do something about your routine. You have to do something positive. And you cannot say, I'm not lucky. You're going to be so lucky. You're going to be so lucky on Monday. It's one of the, of the best days of the week. 
if not the whole month. You are so capable, you are so lucky, and you have all the luck on your favor, to your favor. Everything you want will happen. Because it's a trine with the sun, nothing is impossible. Actually, everything is possible. So go ahead and work on that thing that you have been dreaming of because it will be easy, as easy as a pie. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, I think you can win something. You can win the love of people. You can win money. You can uh, uh, get some great news. You'll be so happy. And you may even want to pamper yourself and spend something on yourself. You want to buy something. something. You want to spend time with your loved ones. This is a great day to negotiate also. Friday and Saturday, this is when Libras are so dynamic and they can win everything with a word. One word, one phone call will make the difference, a huge difference. You are so smart and quick and with ready answers, ready answers. So I think you should go... You should participate in everything. You should go to classes, you should go to meetings, you should go to everything. You have to be around. You cannot hide and you cannot waste this huge mental and physical energy that you have and it's all to your, fa to your favor. Actually, Sunday is the, the, the day when you'll feel the whole, uh, you'll feel tired, you'll feel exhausted, you'll feel the toll of the whole week and you're allowed to relax, maybe spend some time with yourself and enjoy some time. Just try not to be that moody. The luckiest are those born between the 15th and the 22nd of October. Let's move to Scorpio. So Scorpio, you're, uh, you're on for a very busy week, a good week actually, very efficient, and actually, I like this week for you because the moon will be in your sign, which means it's a good, efficient week with something new coming along. However, it starts with a very slow beat. Monday, with the moon in Libra, actually, this, this can be the slowest day of the week. This can be the slowest day of the whole month of February. And this is why you need to step back, take your time, excuse yourself, and wait till Tuesday because actually nothing will work out as you wish maybe you'll be disappointed maybe you'll lose or you you you'll ruin a relationship you will lose your trip you will not find uh, the things that you promised uh, you'll not find the things that you were promised you'll not get you'll not get back you'll not get on time for many things so Monday Try not to start anything because you'll be disappointed and I think you will regret it, okay? And uh, you need to take care of your health because this is the time when you will feel so tired and you will feel so vulnerable. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. These are the best days of the week and I think they can be one of the best days of the whole month. Uh, because the moon will be in your sign, this is when you will be so efficient and so fast, you will be faster than anybody else, and you will get the green light to move on with anything you want, and things that were so pending and you're waiting for, you will get the answers for them. So this is a great time to move on, to launch something, to embark on, on an adventure, or to try to move on with a new page, uh, or move on a new track, like if you want to make uh, a big decision make a big step, this is the right time. Friday and Saturday, there are still good days for you, good times, but you need to take care of some expenses. Things will come out. Something will come up and you'll feel that you need to pay more than you um, expected. On Sunday, on Sunday, actually, I think it's a good day. Why? Because Scorpio will be so bright and so ready to defend himself, herself. And this is when you feel you are so dynamic. And this is when you feel that you are ready for a fight, a mental fight. And this is when you feel you are your, your mind is sparked. And this is when you feel that you can 
actually face the whole world. Why? You, you face the whole world because you are so ready. Your mind is so sharp and you have the answers to everything. The luckiest will be those born between the 13th and the 15th of November. Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius, I think um, you'll love this this week. Um, you'll love this week because there's a lot of activity going around and you have so many things on your schedule. You want to do things, you want to do them fast. And just like any other sign, you have like two days, good days, and like two or three days, not that good. It's the same. This is normal for every sign every week. In this case, on Monday, and mind you, we, you have to know that Mars is still in your sign. Actually, this whole month, Mars is in your, in your sign till actually till March, uh, till the 17th of March. So you still have to be careful. You have to tone down your, maybe your energy a little bit, control it. Okay, so Monday, Monday, it's a very... Uh, it's a very effective day. Uh, it's a very bright day. It's uh, it's uh, it's perfect actually to be around. You should be around. You should be around because the energy of Monday is socializing. This is the theme of Monday: socializing. You need to be around. You need to talk. You need to participate. You need to explain. You need to play a role in your community, in your family, wherever you are, at work, because you are so capable and people look up to you. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 p.m. Universal Time, this is the time when you are at your lowest, your lowest, let's say, immunity. This is when you feel uh, vulnerable. This is when you feel, um, this is when you are easiest when you it's the easiest time for you to be deceived this is the easiest time for you to be cheated on so you have to be careful this is the time when you are disappointed when nothing works out as you wish so you have to be very 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 careful and try uh, to avoid making um, big steps and big decisions everything changes to your favor starting uh, thursday 2 p.m universal time because the moon reaches your sign and this is when everything start starts moving again to your favor the general atmosphere is positive because the sun is in aquarius it's a friendly sign you feel so good with it especially with the sign with the moon in your sign this is when you want to start a project this is the the time when the green light says yalla you have to move on in the direction of a new new studies a new path a new work a new office uh, a new new school this is when you move from a place to another place you may actually uh, change uh, location on um, uh so this is this is friday and saturday on sunday sunday is a perfect day to to study to go to exams to sit for exams to negotiate money things monetary things financial things and to pay some debts you also need to negotiate some papers and maybe you need to sit for some uh, uh, important meetings with somebody and uh, you don't need to worry about anything at all you'll be fine. The luckiest are those born between the 16th and the 18th of December. However, because Mars is in your sign, you have to be careful if you're born between the 28th of November till and the 2nd of December. You have to be careful because Mars can attract accidents, problems, trouble, and maybe some fevers. So you have to be careful. Let's move to Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, uh, this week you would be dealing with uh, authority figures, especially on Monday. Monday actually is an important, important day and you have to be ready. You have to put on your best suit, your smart suit, and you have to be ready. Ready for the, for the exams, ready for the meeting, ready for anything that can come up. It's an important day. 
the quality of Monday is so important that it can really put you, land you on a, a career change. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 p.m. Universal Time, it's the best day to lobby around. You need to lobby around. This is the best time to show your social skills. And you can be very good at that. So work on it. Uh, starting Thursday afternoon, uh, Friday and Saturday, it's the worst time of the week. This is when you are at your weakest. This is when you are so, um, let's say, frustrated and disappointed. Don't make any decisions. You'll regret it. Sunday, it's number one. It's a perfect day. It's a perfect day. And it goes on till Monday the 12th of uh, February. It's a perfect day. This is when everything looks perfect for you. This is when the universe smiles at you. This is when you feel cooperation and this is when you get everything you want. So Friday, I think on Sunday you need to move on with all your power, with all your energy, with all your good intentions because things will work out as you want. And the luckiest of those born between the 12th and the 13th of January, this whole week. And because of Saturn and Pluto, you need to be careful. If you're born between the 27th and 29th of December, 10 or 11 of January. Let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, I love this week for you. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's one of the most perfect weeks in February. Why? Because it starts with the moon in Libra. Libra is an air sign just like yours and it's a perfect harmony. It's in a perfect trine with the sun and this is this is perfect. This is more than perfect. It is everything you wanted, everything you dreamt of. Everything comes true. It is a beautiful day and this is when you feel like you are dreamy, when you are singing to yourself and this is when you uh, you drive happily and this is when you smile at people this is when you forgive people you don't care about anything it's a beautiful day and when the day is beautiful this is when you should work on the most complicated things not the easy things this is not a day to go on a vacation this is not the day to say oh i'm so happy i don't want to go to work this is the time to go to work and face the problems because there will be no problems. They will be solved. So get working. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 p.m. Universal Time. This is a heavy time. But I don't need to worry. You don't need to worry because the general atmosphere, the general conditions are perfect. They are perfectly aligned with you to help you out. Actually, between Tuesday and Thursday, you may reach a higher point, a higher position at school, at work, in society, in your community. So in spite of being anxious and feeling anxious, I think Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are perfect days to, uh, to get the job. Friday and Saturday, they are good days to have fun to be around people, to be around friends, to go out, to go to gathering, go out to gatherings, and to uh, do some community work. Because maybe you need to show support to friends, neighbors, and whatever. You may, uh, you, may join a, you may join a community, you may join an organization, you may join a club. It's good to be around a lot of people noisy people. Sunday, this is your day, your day off. You can stay at home. You can just turn off your mobile, just be on your own, do whatever you want to do, because this is the quality of time. It's not a day to be dashing around. It's not a day to be competing. It's a, a low energy day, low energy kind of day. This is when you need to stay uh, on, a, on a very short, easy schedule, easy routine, and don't make any big decisions. You'll regret it. The luckiest are those born between the 11th and the 18th of February. 
Okay, so here we come Pisces. Pisces, you already know that till the 18th of February, there's nothing new for you. There's nothing perfect for you. This is the kind of time you're passing through and you have to flow with it. Monday, Monday is not that extra beautiful day. Monday wants you, needs you to be precise. You need to be alert. You need to wake up. You need to look into details. You need to follow up with your work, with your exams, with your papers, with everything. You have to be wide awake. You need to be careful of uh, any mishaps. You need to be to look after your health also. You need to take all your papers with you. Don't leave your house without all the papers. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday till 2 p.m. Universal time is a perfect day. Actually, this is the best period of this week. This is when everything complicated, difficult should be worked on. This is the time when these things should be worked out. Otherwise, you will miss the whole point of listening to my horoscopes because I give you the quality of time of every single day. And you're supposed to make the best of the good times. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to 2 p.m. Universal Time. Actually, it's like uh, there's a conspiracy with luck. It's trying to help you. It's going to favor you. So this is the time when you need to smarten up and hurry up with the most difficult things. Make that call. Make that visit. Be daring. Friday and Saturday. Things get a bit, a bit complicated or a bit demanding. Maybe you thought things were going to sort themselves out. No, not on Friday, not on Saturday. You need to smarten up. You need to do your best. It is a demanding period of time. And this is when you will feel it's like you're being uh, under the spotlights and being evaluated. You're being questioned. So you have to be very ready for that, especially if you have a meeting, an important meeting. Sometimes it's a physical issue, a health issue, and sometimes it has to do with one of your parents. Sunday, it's a good day. Sunday is when the sun comes up again, out again, and this is when you feel a little bit, um, you'll, feel, you'll feel better about yourself, you'll feel better about the week, and this is when your mood is better, and this is when you need to be around friends or some friendly people to brighten up. The luckiest are those born between the 11th, 11th and the 13th of March. Whereas if you were born on the 3rd or the 4th of March, you need to be careful because of Neptune's effects on you. So this was the weekly forecast for the week starting uh, Monday the 5th of February till Sunday the 11th. I wish you all the best and see you soon. Bye bye.